Welcome to Black Sheep Betty. Uh, my name is Amy Arnett. I'm going to be your hostess for this evening. This is my gallery, and I hope you enjoy the night. Tonight is our jewelry bazaar in honor of the sheep. So let me take you for a tour around, and I'll show you what we've got. The first jeweler that I'd like to introduce you to is Jennifer, and her jewelry company is called Miasma Designs. My jewelry style is a bit of a mixture of different materials, and I love uh, sparkly, flashy things. These sort of classy, um, fun feathers, jewelry, and that kind of thing. This is Nilu. Her jewelry line is called Nenufar. Um, it's all about the colors. I'm really a great fan of colors, so it's how the beads come together, because I usually just play it around on my table and then two weeks later when I feel okay it's set it's done I put it together and I understand you have a little signature of yeah Indian yeah your... it's um, a heart on the back of a necklace of every necklace so every necklace has a heart every necklace has a heart in the back most of them it's just um, it's a relationship between me and the, the person who's wearing the piece you know, that I put lots of love you give them your and heart, passion you give them your love. and care, so Very it's not just mass-produced, consumed, you know. It's Next up, we have one of the newest artists at Black Sheep Betty and just an amazing talent. Her name is Janet Miller. Yeah, I do the designs in wax first and then I bring them to get cast and they make the mold and then I come back and I do all the soldering and all of the fabrication and the polishing and... Amazing! Yeah. And these are made with uh, knife blades, recycled knife blades. No! Yeah, this is all like cultured freshwater pearls. And also this ring here it was one of the first rings Whoa. I designed. So there's a fetus there that's escaped from its cage. It's cage. That is avant-garde to be sure. <laughs> Can you uh, tell us a little bit about your jewelry style and what you've got here tonight, Yannick? So they're all made with uh, natural stones and crystals and fossils from all over the world. Um, so I've traveled and um, met people from all over the world, traded with them uh, to acquire different fossils and specimens. Can you show us one of your favorite pieces? Mm -hmm. the bracelet. It's made out of 95% uh, silver. I mean, uh, it's all silver, but the quality is 95% rather than sterling, which is 92.5. Oh, okay. Um, what I like a lot about those is um, the heaviness of it. Uh, when you wear it, you mm -hmm. can feel what you have on. Last but not least, we have Oslam. She's a representative of a jewelry making pair that call themselves Nazaro. Uh, we started our jewelries with a friend of mine. Uh, we are doing both meditation and uh, we are trying to uh, evolve ourselves and help others too. We wanted to give good energy and good intention and uh, spread our love and the joy uh, in a way. And we found the best way to do something with our hands. This is an ancient futuristic fusion of cool. augmented geometry, semi-precious stones, and precious metals. Wearing this piece, do you feel really attuned to the universal energies right now? Well, I'm, I'm having a hard time keeping my feet on the ground, so... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, if I take it off... Oh, see, I'm oh, here with you. Right you're right here with exactly. me. Exactly. Awesome. So, would you like to try it on? Oh, I would love to. Right, would it, you put it on me? Oh, how does it look? Oh my, am I floating? <laughs> Fantastic. Well, you'll definitely have to let me know when 2.0 comes out because I need one of these for myself. Mm -hmm.